nice brother when on the road trip he gets on the bloody nose but still wants to play his iPad. Thank you, Nathan. First stop anytime we're traveling south is always the creamery. <laughs> Squeaky cheese. And now that they're at this new location, which is amazing, they have awesome food and stuff too. So we love to stop here, but this is the place to be. Okay, so this is a cute little area that they have to show how it's farm to table of how to milk the cows. <laughs> oh, you're like legit putting it on. This is the braised short rib grilled cheese. Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. Crazy, and then you get a side with it. What do you get, Rob? Oh, the mac and cheese is delicious. We usually get the mac and cheese with bacon. Yeah, and grilled cheese. I got, I got the grilled cheese with the homemade soup. Oh, you guys, so good. Cheeses, we love to get a regular one. They come in these cute little bags. And they also have jalapeno flavor, which is really good. And salsa, yummy. Yeah, I mean, usually back there they have little taste testers, but because of COVID, no more. But, oh, over here, come over here real quick. Back there is the ice cream. We got tons of flavors and it's delicious. But then look at these blocks of cheese. Look how big that is. Oh, baby, yum. Ooh, I look at all these yummy flavors. Delicious. <laughs> I love how they pose. <laughs> All right, that was delicious. Off we go. Oh my gosh, it's so hot out here. It's like 90 degrees. Well, stops. One of them is Parowan. And this I saw in, um, I can't even remember where I saw it. I find a lot of stuff on Pinterest um, and there's a lot of great sites out there on Instagram as well. But this is called the Rock Church. Looks like there's a huge nest up there. Let me get a better shot. Well, it says they're open at one o'clock and it is one o'clock, but they're not open. So I don't know anything more about this, but it still looks pretty darn cool. Hey, we're still in pair one. We just crossed over on the other side of the freeway. We're at the dinosaur tracks. Is that all it's called? Is the dinosaur tracks in pair one? Pair one dinosaur tracks. All right, but look how cool this backdrop is. Isn't that pretty? Cliffs are cool. amazing. <gasps> well, we don't have to hike up there. <laughs> yeah. All right, we are searching. This area it. for it, where? But where is it at? Oh goodness. It's gonna be this hard to find. <laughs> All right, we found the second one. That's it right there. So, so this is my question, who 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago came through here and said, oh my gosh, that's a dinosaur track and put this pole in here and now made it a national blotum schlotum. <laughs> I mean, come on. That is a, just a regular rock. <laughs> I cannot see any dinosaur prints. I mean, really, look. Look, do you see this? You see this? You know what this is? This is a dinosaur print. Really? That's what it seems like they're doing. <laughs> Oh, here's this. Here's a good story. That's where eggs were kept <laughs> inside. This is a prehistoric egg incubator. <laughs> and so, <laughs> as the eggs. So wait, the dinosaur lifted up their egg with their hand right. and put it in there. Placed it in the incubator, <laughs> and then once it hatched, they would fall to the ground and then game flight. <laughs> Oh look, there's a lizard. Uh, look, there's a bird. <laughs> there's a dinosaur. It's a kid, never mind. It's a kid, never mind. Uh, I may need your help, honey, in a second to take a picture. With... Oh, okay, push to the. He found a oh. eagle's nest up there. Okay, that down from there. All right, there. They climbed all the way to that section and now they're coming back. Thank goodness. They're very high. But right over here. All the way up to the eagle. Up. Okay, hang on now. I gotta find it. There it is. Alright, 
All right. Here is another one. And they said this one we could see a lot better. Oh yeah, we can see that one a little bit better. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah. That is really cool. There's like one right here and then half of it right here. Wow. Okay, we're back to the first one. I think that it's this, because that's how the other one was. Okay. It's so, rounded and maybe there was a piece right here that kind of came off, but that's the other one. Do you see it? <laughs> well, that was pretty cool to see that huge eagle's nest. So down the road, like a couple miles, is the Gap, Parowan Gap Petroglyphs. So we're here to see this thing. I love people. I like normal water. This is pretty cool, guys. What is this? Okay, I see some right there. Oh yeah, up on the rock right there. That's pretty cool. I wonder what they mean. Walking around and there is a ton on this. story these. about Rex, the alien, <laughs> came down to visit the Montezuma wall. The eagle flew over the wall right. at the exact same time that a turtle was coming up to visit Rex the alien. Where do you see all these? Okay. So, there's the alien underneath the wall right there because there's stuff coming off of the top of his head. Oh, I see the alien now. It's the Montezuma wall because it's got those little okay, square. Okay, nice. The eagle to the left, and below Rex is the turtle that's climbing up to get him. <laughs> oh, and the final left represents snow falling. Rows of dots are a trail to say traveling to snow country. See these rows of dots? Yeah, what, what is this thing right here? Oh, it says someone falling, then the spirit is restored. There it is right there. You see this part? A great leader. He holds back from destroying until he can rise from the devastation. Oh Wait, my the gosh. Person? How do they know that? The okay, we are in Cedar City, and this is where we're going to be for the next couple days. A lot of fun activities. The first place is Three Peaks Recreation Area, which is all these. It's kind of like a mini Goblin Valley. That's what it looks like to me. Um, for bouldering, and the kids can climb and play and there was lots of different sections so we just stopped off. We just got off on this little turn off right here, but they, it's like endless. I mean, do you see Preston way over there? <laughs> so let's go explore. Whoa, let's go climb it. Look how cool this is. Introducing my house. This is the couch. <laughs> this is, the this the is my little chair. <laughs> um, this is my bed. Whoa. Uh, over there's my so over there oh, yeah. is Cedar City. So oh, we just went west. Here. Look at that. This is my home. <laughs> okay, so this place is really cool. They have quite a bit of stuff. There's camping sites. There's a shooting range. There's an RC car, like a little track. And then there's like a stand where you can stand and like do your remote control while the RC car is going around. They have Frisbee golf. We just saw a flagpole over there. What else do they have, hun? Trail. Oh, there's a big old trail area for mountain biking, and then of course there's the bouldering. Yes, honey. Can you see my house? Oh, let's go see your house. Past Preston's house. Past Preston's house. Pass, pass, pass house. Okay. Oh, I love your house. Let's sit in your chair. Let's see it. Oh, that's a comfy chair. Yeah. <laughs> this is my old tree. This is my tree. <laughs> my playground over there. No. Scott ended up driving down the road while we just keep playing because we've got like seven other spots to do. I get it, I'm getting it, you guys. They're like posing for a picture, but I'm getting a video. But we're just still climbing and exploring all these rocks. It's amazing. It's like 93 degrees out here. It's freaking hot, but it's still fun bouldering. Yeah.